I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So will the Minnesota Vikings have a two-headed monster running back or three? <laughs> Got Dalvin Cook, heavy. Alexander Madison, heavy. But don't forget about the rookie, right? Ty Chandler, heavy. Now we know what Dalvin Cook can do. We know he's one of the top running backs in the league. Hopefully after this year, he proves he's the number one back in the league, right? We know he's explosive. His breakaway speed is phenomenal. This year, I guarantee you will see him coming out of the backfield more, lined up at the receiver position more, catching quick passes, taking them to the house, screens, take it to the house, right? This year, I guarantee he will be a more overall weapon. He will have the defenses in a frenzy, heavy, <laughs> especially with the schemes and plays Kevin O'Connell will put in just for him to get the ball in his hands, heavy. But he's not only elusive, can catch the ball out of the backfield, right? He can also run in between the tackles, the guards, outside, middle, heavy. A very good wide zone running back, right? Get in the crease, find the crease, bam, he's out of there. Then you got Alexander Madison, number two this year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Deuce, heavy, big bruising back. Not as elusive as Dalvin Cook. Doesn't have the same speed, but definitely a good solid back. A powerful back, runs hard, hits the holes, right? He can be good in the screen game as well. I'm sure he will even have some plays coming out of the backfield. Definitely a different element at the running back position. Him and Cook are a good mix, a good blend of weapons, right? Two totally different backs, but it's two backs that can still produce at a high level. Then you have the rookie, Ty Chandler. Man has all the credentials, all the physical attributes. You put the film on, he's flashes, man. He's a downhill back, a good zone read back, right? He can also be a weapon out of the backfield, catching the ball, screen game as well. He may need to work on his elusiveness, right? making players miss. But overall, I think he will be a good back. And I think he can get some playing time, heavy. And I think he can produce. And in the future, I think he can be a good back in the league. He runs hard. He's quick, has good footwork. You know what I'm saying? Good agility. Now he just has to put it all together at the next level, heavy. But don't be surprised if you see Ty Chandler coming in, giving Cook some rest, giving Alexander Madison some rest, right? Getting some snaps of his own especially if he proves himself in training camp, in the preseason heavy. But it's weapons at the running back position, man. <laughs> Definitely weapons, man. So I'm very excited as a fan with how that backfield will look, right? I'm sure other fans are too. With that being said, that's my take on it, man. <laughs> my opinion on the Vikings running back room. Two-headed or three-headed monster, man. <laughs> it can get dangerous. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, me, I ain't got no picture, hit me. Skull, like that.